Hey, how's it going? Getting ready to stream some Jackbox. Uh, this is going to be my last Jackbox stream until next Sunday. Next Sunday, I'm going to be giving away $20 to one lucky sponsor. It's going to be a private stream where only the people that are sponsors, only the people that hit Super Chat, only the people that go into Patreon will get the link to that stream. And then we're going to be playing for $20, either Steam or Amazon or PSN or whatever you want, and I'll give it to you. All right, how's that sound? Good, good. Throughout this stream, I will be mentioning it because, you know what? No one's going to know otherwise. So, here we go. Let's start things off with Jackbox. You don't know Jack, as I always start things off. Dude, I could just stream Jackbox, and it would be perfectly fine with me. Wait a minute. There it is. It's on the screen. Had me worried. What's up, female Goku? How's it going? This is going to be lit. I am a little bit tired, but I'm alright. Whoa, too quick, too quick. We're set. Hey, what's up? Maria. Cuz. Kai. How you doing, Miss Chaos? How about. The Finger of the Month Club. You got... You know how much I played Jackbox over the last month? P.T. S.E. Don't say pajamas is the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajamas. pajamas. Mr. Edgar Loudshoes, come on down. I can't believe I Let's wait for at least pajamas. one more person. What was that? You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What do you call clothes that you sleep in? Ooh, uh. Pajamas? Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes with pajamas. Well, it's not pajamas. Poop. Literally, all you have to do to win is not say pajamas. Remember, in the final round, you are still not allowed to say pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my god and say pajamas. Fudge pug! Catch all the action here on... Don't say pajamas! You all have to leave. Hey kids, are your parents out of the room? Yeah. We're gonna start after this ad. Candyforgold.com. At candyforgold.com, we take all your parents' boring old gold and jewelry and send you back bags of delicious candy. But listen, we can't send you the candy unless you send us the gold. So here's what I need you to do. We tell your mommy and daddy, leave the house, sneak into their bedroom, and look through all their drawers. If you see anything made of shiny gold, just grab it. It doesn't even have to be made of gold, just as long as it's shiny. The next part's easy. Just put it all into a properly sealed and stamped box or envelope and mail it to candyforgold.com. And whatever you do, don't tell your parents. They're busy and they don't want to know anything about this. I'm serious. Keep your mouth shut. That's candyforgold.com. Shh. It's our little secret. I'm ready. I am Cookie Masterson, and if you love trivia, this game is for you, and also for this trivia-loving duck. <laughs> Hello, you two. Try not to make each other cry, okay? You all take care of those screws now. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. <laughs> And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by Finger of the Month Club huh. because it's easier than going out month That'd be after a fair month bet. and finding fingers yourself. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, let's move. Get ready to 
One. Let's begin with... Where there's a lil, there's a way. Okay, pay attention and tell me this. What would be an example of Lil Wayne in a Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne in a little ship? Lil Wayne in a little cabin? Lil Wayne in a little airplane? Or Lil Wayne in a little wagon? It's not letting me hit shit. I can't hit anything. Player one. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Player two. Doom two just announced. <laughs> Watch how easy this is. A Wayne is a large farm wagon used to haul hay and other large loads. What about Fallout 76? Unfortunately, Lil Wayne's wagon is pulled by a donkey, so parallel parking is a nightmare. He just can't back that Nick, ass I'd rather, up. Nick, I'd rather see Fallout 76. I've heard it's huge. May I introduce... Grauman's Chinese Penitentiary. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Get out of here. Get this one correct, and I just might see my way to offering you early parole and 1,000 extra bucks. Arrange these celebrity jailbirds in order of how much total time they spent in prison. From shortest time to longest time. Hey, what's up, Robert Downey Jr., Martha Stewart, Mike Tyson. Stewart Tyson Downey, Tyson Downey Stewart, Stewart Downey Tyson, or Downey Tyson Stewart. Doom. Player two. Martha Stewart spent five months in prison from 2004 to 2005. I think I got Robert it. Robert Downey Jr. served one year of a three-year sentence in 1999, and Mike Tyson was in prison for three years from 1992 to 1995. That earned you an extra thousand dollars. <laughs> And I heard during her time in prison, Martha Stewart learned how to make an absolutely heavenly toilet wine. Player one. You just dropped the soap. Ah! Almost. Take a stab at... Hey. So... What's going down? Venice, Italy, Edinburgh, Scotland, Honolulu, Hawaii, or Sydney, Australia? Players one and two? Nope. Venice, Italy, known for its canals, sinks approximately two millimeters every year. Sure, the oceans are rising everywhere, making every place appear as if it's sinking, but Venice is actually actively going downward. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, though, two millimeters a year isn't really all that much. That's why the citizens of Venice have learned to panic very, very slowly. Here's a good one. Barely nude. And it's time for this or that. Player one. Your score is pretty lame. Why don't you play this one? I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a type of bear you can buy at Build-A-Bear, or a type of lingerie you can buy at Victoria's Secret. If it's Build-A-Bear, press the X button. If it's Victoria's Secret, press the B button. Player two, lock in your answer before player one, because if player one gets it wrong and you get it right, you steal the cash. Ready? Let's go. Lucky Clover Teddy. Sweet Velvet Teddy. Pink Flurry Teddy. Cutaway Teddy. Pumpkin Pal Teddy. That was completely indecent. Damn. I personally don't shop at Build-A-Bear. I just feel they reinforce body images that are unrealistic for most bears. Here we have... I used all my vacation days on Lobster Fest. 
If the fast food chain Long John Silver's had a calamari special called Squid Pro Quo, what would be an appropriate tagline in their commercials? All of our calamari is free. We'll give you calamari if you give us calamari. The buyer should beware our calamari, or the calamari is innocent until proven guilty. Player two? There is no such thing as a free Damn lunch. It. Player one. The Latin phrase quid pro quo means to exchange one favor for another. So it's quid pro quo. You probably need to bring in calamari to get calamari. What's up, Alpha Firewolf? I prefer to eat seafood when it's part of a cleverly named promotion. But I had to draw the line when a local restaurant started offering habeas porpoise. Habeas porpoise. Let's say so long to round one. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And don't forget, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. All right, you ready? Too bad. Pucker up for... Return to your nearest Pantheon. If my local red box were like Pandora's box, what would probably be the only movie left in it? Cape Fear, Hope Floats, 10 Things I Hate About You, or Anger Management? Watch your clock! I got this one right. Player two. In the story of Pandora's box, Pandora opens said box and releases evil upon the world. But remaining at the bottom was hope. But sadly, my red box was nothing like Pandora's box, and I ended up with Airbud 2 Golden Receiver. Don't worry, you'll catch up. Let's try. How much wood, Chuck? You know, I've been thinking about the uh -oh. universe, and it kind of makes Control me feel quest. small and alone. You're not alone. You got me, Dunny. Oh, no! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not, not me. me. This is my ventriloquist puppet, Billy O'Brien. Sometimes I let him ask questions, even though he's a little hard to understand. Why? I speak perfectly. And here's a question about outer space. One noon orbits the Earth. The moon? Yes, the noon. That's what I said. The noon. The what planet has hey, no what's up, moons? Everyone? Mercury, Jupiter, Neptune, or Pluto? Player one, not much time left. Players one and two. Pluto? Pluto's not even a planet anymore. Don't be a neuron. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Mercury, along with Venus, has no moons. I should have guessed no Mercury. Noons. Hey, what's up, Big Wazoo? Well, thanks for stopping by, Billy. That cookie, I got one more noon for you. Billy, put your pants back on. I don't want to see that. Ugh, there's some weird wood stains. Oh, that's embarrassing. Weird wood stains. Acho. This one's known as... What am I eating? Which food is not lying about what animal or body part it is? Buffalo wings, chicken fingers, pig's feet, or elephant ears? I think I got this one. I think I got all of them. Player That's one, how confident I am. Players one and two? Yep. <clears throat> yep. These pig's feet I'm eating are... Actual pig's feet. They don't taste as bad as I thought they would. Just have to remember to take the pig socks off first. Here's one for you. Trashes to trashes, junk to junk. You're lucky you can't smell what's going on in here because we're about to do a trash question. Trash. Time to see whose trash is my treasure this time. 
Let's take a look. There is a nice pair of boots in size cat, a book called A Parent's Guide to Juvenile Espionage, and an empty bottle of cologne labeled Blue Seduction. Who does this trash belong to? I know Antonio who it is. Antonio Banderas, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, or John Stamos? Uh, you know what? If you want to play it again, or the Big Wazoo wants to play, or Emily wants to play, you guys can play and I'll stand out. Because it's obvious I'm just going to beat anybody that joins. Players one and two. Antonio Banderas was the voice of the cat known as Puss in Boots in the Shrek movies. He was the father in the movie Spy Kids. And he has a line of cologne called Blue Seduction. Well, I already heard that Antonio Banderas. Doom Holy 2 crap, is coming out. Trash whispers his name. This guy's the coolest. Sorry. Antonio Banderas. Uh, I'm actually growing a beard. Because uh, somebody wants me to. How about... A Rolling Stone gathers no supermodels. So, until July, Suppose I will be growing a beard. Thin model Kate Moss wanted to grow a little. If she were like real Moss, what part of the tree should she lean on in order to grow the most? The highest part of the tree, the driest side of the tree, the south side of the tree, or the shadiest part of the tree? You know, the things I do to make people happy. Growing a beard Players until July. Were you thinking of this one? Most kinds of moss grow far better in the shade. But most trees these days opt to have their moss waxed into a landing strip. Uh-oh. Looks like I won. Welcome to the attack. When of course, who wants to hear my yapping? Oh, I'm still doing it. Sorry. Here you go. Given the bird. What type of bird are they? Good luck. Turkey. Toucan Sam? I'm guessing it's a toucan. Duh. Tweety. That's a canary. Oh, you know what giveaway. One's Pan McQuack is a duck. You know what? Let me stop things and at least tell you. Because, Ricky, I said that I was doing a giveaway. Um, I'm doing a giveaway next week, next Sunday at 9 o'clock, where we're going to be, where the sponsors are going to be playing Jackbox sponsors or people that hit super chat or in the people that donate to my patreon and they're gonna win 20 bucks in either steam or amazon or psn or wherever they want so that's what it is it's gonna be a private stream nobody else is gonna see it just the people I give the link to. Zazu. That's a hornbill. Yeah, it should be good. Last week I gave 20 bucks to Shiny Gold 998. Gonzo's Camilla, that's a chicken. And it worked so well, I thought, hey, maybe I should give back a little. Player two has it! Player two, great win. Player one, great loss. No, really. I've seen people play this game and lose by just ah. a few bucks, but not you, my friend. You really sucked. But don't let it go to your head because... You don't know Jack! All right. What do you guys want to play? We don't have to play You Don't Know Jack. But if we do, I'm going to stay out of it. Let me hear you in chat. By the way, I'm also in Discord. Have you felt 
tired from all that racket and ballyhoo from the so-called music festivals that the teenage beatniks and ruffians do? Or is it uh, time to hop to have She said trivia murder party. Like plays real music that <laughs> I'm doing trivia murder party. Sorry. I like trivia murder party. After trivia murder party, we'll do something else. You know what if Wazoo says trivia murder party? That's what we can do. Espionage. That's a good one. I've never tried faking it. Never will. You guys ready? Should be good. We'll start in about a minute. Codsworth? Codsworth? Wait a minute. Trivia night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But it's also a great place to learn some good cocktail party facts. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game when one player is left alive. Hey. Yeah, who needs rules? Let's get on with it. Okay now, first question. Now for a question about my favorite supplier of fishing waders. What does the LL stand for in LL Bean? Use your device to answer the question. I probably guessed wrong. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Not me. The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing floor. Now I'd like you to make some art. Now, keep in mind, I don't know art, but I know it sends me into a homicidal rage. So, draw carefully. The perfect murder weapon. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Ooh. 
I drew a dildo. Ah! Now everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. I know it's a little counterintuitive to pick the worst thing, but I believe in you. You know, I don't really hate that the most, that's for sure. Pick the drawing that makes you go, ah, uh, no thank you. The votes are in. It's time to punish the artists. Ah. It's a really quick game. And you're dead. But don't go into the light just yet. Ghosts can still win. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low because you're all doomed, remember? Next question. Let's mix things up a little bit with a picture question. Oh, here's a precious photo. It's my preschool chum Rory on school picture day. Actually, now that I think about it, this picture makes me mad. They let him wear his cowboy outfit, but didn't let me take my picture covered in blood. In the black and white, it would have looked really cool. Also, it's the only thing that can keep my hair under control. <laughs> Childhood. It's weird. How many stars were there? Trick question. Who said this one? I did. No, I did say that one. The rest of you who are still alive, that. prepare for your punishment. I said three. Hello, guten tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What was your favorite toy as a kid? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. <laughs> now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you the best. The votes are in. Ooh, these words will look good on your next round. Welcome back to the scoreboard. The scoreboard is your friend. Oh, I thought you could pick that one. Then. I've got more questions for you. Which character on Bob's Burgers is voiced by a female? It's either Louise or Tina. Time's running out. It's not Jane. Who picked this? No. <laughs> Everyone Nobody. is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. I'm not winning. Aw, oh, hell, son. It's math time. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. The person who does the worst dies. Let's get this math party started. You are mathing so hard right now. You're approaching the math finish line. Oh, I fucked up one. Uh oh. I hope you haunted elementary school so maybe you can learn something. Right, we're down to one already? All right, where, this where's... This was faster than I expected. Where's okay, Petra when you need her? Don't freak out. You can do this. You just have to stall a bit. All right, then. 
If you can survive the next two questions, I'll power up the final round and open the escape door. How about this? What is the highest mountain in the Alps? And the correct answer is... This. Only a ghost got it wrong. Very good. Alright, next question. Which of these is not a romance language? said this one I did hmm too easy well look who's still alive now you just have to escape with your body I'm going to give you a category pasta types tap on each answer that fits then press submit Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Wow. Decisions? Fallout 76 is entirely I'm online. To punish my writers. Here's another one. Wow. Drummers. I'm so playing Fallout 76. Can you stay out of the shadows? Sedimentary rocks. Anytime today, kiddo. Car manufacturers. Time is almost up. I hate it when everyone gets it right. Sriracha ingredients. Oh, Hunter's gonna win. Decisions? Just a few more steps. We're getting close. Jesus of the moon. Oh, 
Uh, I only got one right now. Right. That's too bad. That was a good one, though. You know what? I think Kirby won. So he wanted to play. You don't know Jack. I know we got at least four people. I get a. So if he wins, all right, you know what? I'm staying out of this one. I'm going, you don't know Jack, Kirby, and whoever else. Because Kirby won, so it's their decision. So if you guys want to play uh, something else afterwards, you can. I'm staying out of it. Hey, what's up, Frosty? Remember, let Kirby get in, and then anybody else. We are good to go. Uh, Cookie, we found your pants. Well, hello. It's about time. No, what, what, what should I do with this barrel? Does anyone know how to fix the copier? Also, I'm, uh, I'm covered in blood. Hey, check the microphone. Test if we could silence all chewing on set, we are picking up some slight chewing. It sounds like a bubble gum or a gummy. Hunter's in, okay. Start it up. Hi, I'm Cookie, and if one more person adjusts the thermostat in here without my permission, I will destroy everything they have ever loved. Got that? Four players. Don't people ever sit around and play cards anymore? There's your hardware. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you hey, by... Hey, what's up, Justice Nate? Is it a dog? Just answer yes or no to the various photos... Dude, he's awesome at this. Or not you think it's a dog or not. Then you'll win the game. How fun is that? Very... Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get ready, time for fashion. One. To get things rolling, high fructose fun syrup. Which of these food products does not contain corn syrup? Kellogg's Corn Pop Cereal, Brock's Candy Corn, State Fair Classic Corn Dogs, or Cracker Jack Caramel Coated Popcorn and Peanuts? What? The Fallout 76 Power Some Armor dreams. Edition? Will let you wear an actual Player power four? armor helmet. Sorry, but most frozen corn dogs have corn syrup in them too. Makes them more fattening, which is a huge selling point amongst frozen corn dog eaters. Sorry, Frosty. I'm spoken Players for. Two and three. The sweetness in Kellogg's corn pops comes merely from sugar and the love they put in. They're not online right now, I like but foods with as much corn as possible. Spoken That's why for. I'm pleased to announce my very own new product, Cookie Masterson's genetically modified corn-covered corn nubbins. Oh, I'm eating one now. Mmm. Oh, the cream corn and corn nuts go so well together. Mmm. Get some today. Coming up. Fly me to the cloon, and this dissertat is hurtling through the cosmos. Player four, you seem to be behind, so why don't you play this dissertat? I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, you tell me if it's a scientific publication by Galileo Galilei or a George Clooney movie. 
If it's Galileo, press the X button. If it's Clooney, press the B button. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Choose an answer before player four, and if player four gets it wrong, I'll split the cash among everyone who got it right. Okay, we're off. Solaris. Gravity. The Starry Messenger. The Assayer. From dusk till dawn. Discourse on floating. Galilei, no. Who is Nahuta? Hmm. You know, sometimes when I look up in the night sky into the deep expanse oh, okay, of cool. space, I can't help but wonder, why wasn't Monuments Men a better movie? Ah, uh, just one of the mysteries of the universe, I suppose. Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go make myself a quick sandwich or something. And now, you know what they say about the size of a man's fret. Considering the respective sizes of their instruments, which of these male yeah, yeah, no problem. I know is the least likely to be accused of <clears throat> It's a little bit of a difficult. That's something. why I'm not playing a it clarinet right now. player, a piccolo player, an oboe player, or a bassoon player. Player three, hello! Players three and four. Oh no, they're definitely compensating for something. Big time. <laughs> Players one and two? The piccolo is actually a half-sized flute and the smallest of these instruments. So the piccolo player seems the least likely to be compensating for the size of their, um, other instrument. <laughs> And as long as I've already gone through the trouble of setting up this premise, I would just like you to know, I play a kazoo. Take a stab at Alt-Shift Medicine. I've been getting into Eastern medicine lately because I hate taking lots of pills, but this is kind of weird. My specialist gave me a fortune cookie. Cookie, fortune cookie. Not that I'm complaining. I love cookies. Let's see what my fortune says. Prescription. One cookie AC. Now, oh, weird. It's a prescription. I'm not great with medical abbreviations, though. Uh, when was I supposed to eat my cookie? You got a player for. Pick someone to screw. Player two, you've been screwed. You got five seconds. Alright, did someone just phrase the game? I think someone just froze the game. Yep. Remember, you're not supposed to screw people in this. Fuck. Alright. Fuck that shit. You guys wanted to play... Trivia murder party. I'll put it back on. Sorry for the wait. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I went to go get a sandwich. Cheese sandwich. Yes, that's why you can't have nice things. Trivia murder party? You got it.
All right. Let me join this. V I M M. Boom. Trivia Night, a dark, dark reckoning, but with like a fun party game twist. Need a mosquito, huh? I'm going to ask you wow. a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight. Haha, <laughs> you know what I love? Being interrupted. Everyone who does it lives. Okay now, first question. Finally, a question about Madonna. When did Madonna go through her cowgirl phase? Use your device to answer the question. Time for an out. Dude. And the correct answer is... Who got the I question got it wrong. right? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Wow. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's get artistic up in here. And none of that Picasso nonsense. Crawfish boil. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Dude, do you know that Beth Bethesda is coming out with a Power Armor Edition Fallout 76? It's an actual helmet, has an actual headlamp, workable, and a voice modulator. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. It Dude, feels I good so want to tear it. others down. Aw, oh, don't be shy. Pick a drawing for fun. The votes are in. The votes are in, and nobody likes you. Oh, jeez. And boo, you're a ghost. But keep playing, and I promise you can still win. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Ah, <sighs> someday. Here's how everyone's doing so far. Higher scores are better than lower scores, FYI. How about this? I haven't driven a car in years. You know, now that I WFH, work from home. But tell me this. What car part was replaced by fuel injection? said this one I almost said that one the rest of you who are still alive come with me Elder Scrolls 6 release welcome back to the killing floor please take off your shoes wow we're going to play the finger cutting game it's all pretty much there in the title honestly just choose one of your fingers to cut off I'm sure you'll do great Chop, chop. 
<laughs> Thanks for the finger food. <laughs> Do you no, believe that? No kidding. I don't eat them. Elder Scroll Six. This is the scoreboard again. I had thought about having a different scoreboard for each question, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices along the way in game development. Let's try another one. I think this was a question on the LSAT. How long is Chipmunks 2? The squeak wool. Turning out. <laughs> Who picked this one? Let's go someplace fun. <laughs> well, I hope you know how to spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It was really hard to find good cues to cut out. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. All right, I got this. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Ah! I'm so excited to see what you come up with. I only did five five letter words. Let's see what you could come up with. A tie? That's not good for anybody. Damn it! You gotta come up with one word. Wow. All right. Next question. And now for a question about my second favorite roundtable group behind those gals at the view. What knight from King Arthur's roundtable threw the mighty sword Excalibur into the lake? That would be... said this. I didn't. I have a surprise for you. Nothing brings out the best in people like a big pile of cash. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. What? There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Think of this as a fun team building exercise. All right. Talk it out. Uh, maybe we shouldn't do it. Because if we don't do it, we all live. And now, the moment of truth. Nobody took the money? Don't make me start to think that humanity is worth redeeming. I never want to think that. Quick shout out to all my dead people. Looking good. Dude, I got like 533 points. All right, next question. Which of the following Taylor Swift songs uses the word love the most number of times in its lyrics? <laughs> hey, what's up, Psycho Nugget Dog? And the correct answer is this. Nope. I couldn't even select that one. Didn't let me. Prepare for your punishment. Is it a spanking? Ugh, look at this mess. There's blood all over this art. I really shouldn't keep jars of blood everywhere like that. Memorize the pattern of blood.
Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Time is not on your side. I think I got it wrong. Art again. Now it's time to show your work. You wow. deserve this. Hundred percent. How the fuck did you do that? Hey, it's up, Chevy. I'm still alive. I've got more questions for you. What zodiac sign features a half man, half horse? Time's running out. Who picked this one? I did. Only a ghost got it wrong. Very good. Next question. Why do I always get emails with such weird addresses? Just give me my penis enhancing pills and hot singles in my area already. What country is represented by the URL suffix .vn? And the correct answer is this. Nope, I got it wrong. Let's play a game. I'm going to ask you a question. Me and Frosty. Answer very carefully. What word is the most fun to say? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Like I was saying, keep in mind, next week we're going to have a stream where I give away $20 to one of my sponsors. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate it's the It's going to be a private stream. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes Sunday, dies. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pick the answer that makes you go, bad, bad doggy. Yeah. Look at what you did. No. Time's running out. Just pick an answer that you don't like. Alright, I'm gonna pick the other one. The votes are in. Ha ha. Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. Quick shout out to all my dead people. Sup, homies? Homies. Me and someone. Here's another one. How do you spell that song from Mary Poppins? <laughs> I'm not allowed to be creative though. Time's running out. Yeah. Who picked this Ooh. one? Uh, Let's play a game. I'm playing a game. It's time for a memory game. Wonderful. Everyone gets to play this time. Everyone? What Memorize are they? the pattern. All right, let's put these away. 
from left to right. What was the order of the weapons? And all you have to do is simply make sure not a single person does better than you or you die. It's that simple. I think I got wrong. I was looking at the colors, not the weapons. Hurry, finish your brain download. And looky looky, here's the pattern. How much of it did you remember? I got four out of But six. did anyone do just a little better? Four, four. Gross. A you tie. should be ashamed of your performance. No, I didn't die. Let's Hallelujah. try another one. If you think I'm sick, you should check out this Shakespeare guy. Which of the following characters from Shakespeare's Othello does not die from stabbing? I can't believe we're all the way up to question number nine right now. And just me and someone are alive. Time to ring out! And the correct answer is... This one. Aw, oh, man. I have a surprise for you! Again, I'm dead. It's gonna be the wheel, I know it. Good news! It's math time! Against who? Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. Oh, wonderful. And if any of them do better than you, it will be painful. Let's kick some math! I fucked up. Four. Thirteen. Three. Ten. Ninety-three. Nine. <laughs> Isn't that so annoying? Last call for math. Hurry up. Nine. I hope you always have somebody else calculating the tips at restaurants. I got last anyway. I know I started this by pitting you against each other, but wow, your friends are ruthless. The whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Character classes in Dungeons and Dragons. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Decisions, decisions. Let's hope I catch up to somebody. Someone. Can you 
stay out of the shadows. Venomous snakes. Puff adder. Anytime today, kiddo. Hurry up. Band with three members. Time is almost up. Your friend. Better get away fast. States of Mexico. Decisions, decisions. All right, let me ask now. What do you guys want to play next? I got about two more games in me. Another life swap. The shadows are coming. Triple crown winners. Espionage, you got it. Anytime today, you know. This is so close! A real photo finish! Apples! Time is almost up! I get it! You did well! So much blood! American Girl Dolls. I'm so buying this. No, I'm not playing You Don't Know Jack again, sorry. Only has four people. Maybe again, sometime later. Gespionage, you got it. Good game. Here you go. Dude, that new Fallout game with the helmet is $199. I'm so gonna buy it. I'm not even kidding. Why are my keyboard and desk chair covered in bird droppings? Anyone? Ooh. Oh yeah, Agent Squawkington was in today for a debrief. Good for him. Doesn't explain why he took a dump on my station. Don't worry about it, man. Well, it doesn't. Trust me, don't make a scene. Easy for you to say. I you don't have to sit in foul company like it. this. I but I don't mind sitting in this falcon mess. See? Actually pretty comfortable. And this High is five. Max. He's in charge of our couples department. What does that entail? He's in charge of listening in on thousands of couples. Wow. Any good dating advice? Sure. Love is a sham and we all die alone. So that's Max. Uh, let me introduce you to literally anybody else. All right. Do I have to join? I'll join.
I'm in. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's in Breathe it in. What? Come on. All right, we can start. Oh, you leaving? All right. See you later, Emmy. Three, two, one. Here at the government, we are constantly watching everything. Even Larry practicing his dumb clarinets. You know what? You're dumb. Most of the time, we just send the data to the giant supercomputer that actually runs the world. But today, let's play... Gespionage! Now let's administer some fun. First up... Here's a little pick-me-up. What percentage of people can confidently explain the difference between a macchiato and a latte? Try to guess the correct percentage as close as you can. The closer your guess is to the correct percentage, the more points you earn. We have an answer. 43%. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. High five. High five. Yeah. Leave it. Breathe it in. Ooh. Everyone is saying lower. Okay, right answer is... 18%. Apparently, one has milk and the other has more milk. And they both cost around $4. So, who picked lower? Well done. You get points. As for you, good job. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? Ooh. Most important meal of the day, folks. What percentage of people were allowed to have sugary cereals as children? Sixty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? High five. Breathe it in. Believe it. Most of you are saying higher. And the correct answer is... 88%. Not too good, not too bad, just okay. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Next up, breathe it in. We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people usually let their gas gauges get to or below E before refilling? Thirty percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? High five. Running out of time. Just one of you is saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 29%. Wow. 1%. Can't do much better than that. That was pretty close. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? High five. Whoops, I spelled desperate for attention wrong. What percentage of people have ever been paid to perform for audiences? 22%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? 
it in. People are saying lower, and Surveil says... 33%! I'll have you know, I am hosting this game show pro bono, because I care. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up... Hi, Dad. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people have successfully retrieved prizes from one of those claw machines? Really? 13? Fourteen percent. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. No way, dude. High five. I say it's about 45%. Everyone says higher. And the correct answer is... 69%. Fuck yeah. You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, not sorry. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. Who's next? Believe it. Here's a spicy one for you. When given the choice of mild, medium, or hot salsa, what percentage of people choose hot? I say at least 60. Anytime. 65%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Hi, Dad. Breathe it in. I think I said higher, but I might have accidentally said lower. I did say lower. Damn it. Ooh. Hurry up. <laughs> Just one of you is saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 24%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. It's time for the final round. We let the computer scour petabytes of data to find the most popular answers to this question. What's the most overused phrase or expression in the workplace? The data's in. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Ready, go! Don't forget, you can pick three answers. See what answers you chose. And what are the most popular answers? And the winner is. Easy. Breathe it in. Damn, dude, you beat me. All right, hey, let me... you're a winner! Tell you what, no federal income tax for the next three years. All right, Nate, what do you want to play? I got time for at least one more, if not two. It's up to you, man. That was pretty close. 
I got everything. I got them all. I can even put in a... Uh, use your words. If you want to play that. But yeah, I got packed for. You got it. I'll do Fibbage 3, but I'm doing uh, honesty stuff. Every mem everybody memorizes this stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to go get that Fallout 4 from Bethesda with the power armor. If anybody asks why, I'll probably say it's for Father's Day that I wanted it. Let me ask Kayla if she thinks I should get it. I heard the uh, Elder Scrolls 6 edition comes with a dragon, a real dragon. You guys can start it off. You have fun. Welcome to Enough About You. But enough about me introducing Enough About You. It's time to start playing Enough About You. Three players plus two players. So five players. Yeah, I think that all checks out. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's go. Here's how it works. You're about to see a question on your device. Answer truthfully. Then you'll get your chance to make up lies about the other players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Good? Good. Answer your question now. before time runs out. First question. If werewolves attacked right now, this player would use blank as a weapon. Answer your lies now.
Hurry, time's almost up. All right, pick the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Try this one. What really relaxes this player is blank. Write your lies now. Okay, seek the truth. Let's see what you guys picked. Hey, what's up, Bray the Dope Spencer? Okay, focus up. The habit this player would most like to give up is blank. Okay, enter your lies. Come on, time's running out. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see how things shook out. Hey. <laughs> and the question is, this player's presidential code name would be blank. All right, type in your lies. Okay, which one is the truth? Perfecto. Oh, wait, awesome guy. Ah. All right, who picked what? Well, you know what, Fusion Bolt, you maybe you can't miss next week's. Next week, I'm giving away 20 bucks to a sponsor in a private stream.
Here's the question. When they were 10 years old, this player wanted to meet blank. Type in your lies now. before time runs out. All right, where's the truth? Probably Mr. Rogers. Okay, what did everyone pick? I'm tired. Well, so much for that one. one truth and one lie about themselves. Whatever comes to mind, dig deep because you get points for any player you fool with your lie and for spotting other players' truths. Go! Time's half gone. If you're still working on that truth, you might want to move on to your lie. Okay, <sighs> spot the truth about this player. I know the answer to this one. I guess everyone knows the answer to that one. Okay, which one? Truth. I know about Pogo through a DB stream. Oh, that's cool.
All right, we got 15 minutes. If you want me to load up one more, we can. But then I'm going to bed. You let me know. May you play? Sure you can. What do you guys want to play? I will put one more in, then I'm going to bed. Faking it. See you later, Nate. Thanks for popping around, man. Oh, she said faking it first, so we gotta go to faking it. That's in part three. After faking it, I'm going to bed. Oh, man, I'm tired. Really? Nah. How about TKO? There you go, TKO. Yeah, we can probably play faking it sometime, but you know what? Start it up. Three, two, one. Welcome to TKO. I am the tournament master, but that's not all I am, you know. I also play the oboe. Brought you all here to T-Shirt Island because you are the greatest novelty T-Shirt champions in this realm. And because I'm trying to make more friends outside of work. Don't worry, I'm still here. Welcome to the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. Draw something cute, something gross, something funny. Honestly, I don't care what you draw, but if you need help, Hit the suggestion button. Get your drawing fingers wiggling. It's time to draw.
Only seconds remain. Excellent. This time, show me something different. Remember to use the suggestion button if you need an idea. On to drawing number two. One drawing to go, let your freak flag fly, man! Begin. I'm right here. I'm waiting for everybody to answer. Don't think I'm sleeping, I'm laying down. I'm thinking about falling asleep though. Maybe after this game. Make haste before time runs out. I love to watch two masters at work. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something really clever or really dumb. I'm sure anything you write will be one of those. And don't let hubris consume you. Use a suggestion if you need one. Go! You didn't give up after one, did you? Keep writing! Time goes short, hurry up and finish already! Oh yes, this is gonna be good. Bolt Training complete. Now take a look at your device. You have a series of drawings and slogans at your disposal. Choose one of each to make the best t-shirt champion that you can. Don't phone it in. Ha <laughs> ha!
Ha, wonderful. The time is nigh. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet 1. Versus... Fight. Fight by submitting your vote on your devices, that is. Ah. Challenger appears. Fight! Fight for me, baby. Fight. <laughs> Winners! I think we could all use a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Last chance to be clever? Go! Write something. Short, hurry up and finish already! The second gauntlet awaits, and the slimy tentacles of destiny have shuffled your drawings and slogans. Create your deadly t-shirt warrior! This ought to be good. 
Gauntlet 2. Versus. Engage in an altercation. Versus Attack <laughs> Versus I don't know what that is. Engage one another in violence. Versus Attack Winners. We are poised to enter the final gauntlet. Only the greatest t-shirts from the previous rounds are eligible. Prepare to vote one last time. Versus. Versus Attack <laughs> Versus A champion. Boy, that was fun, you guys. Yeah, we should do this more often.
All right. Well, that's about it. Hope everyone had fun. No, I'm right here. I'm getting up. I didn't know when it was over. But it's 12.05. Time for me to turn this off. Time for me to go to bed. I'll be asleep in a half hour. No joke. See you later, Frosty. See you later, Miss Chaos. See you later, everybody else. I'm cutting out.